What is good with it, YouTube? The realest of the real back at you again. Listen, I want to talk about Dillian White making a statement that he wants a rematch. This fight was close and it was the push in my head smacking the ground. That was the factor in me not being able to recover. Ah, this isn't wrestling. This is boxing. Dillian got his nose wiped by a right uppercut. That's why he wasn't able to recuperate. Was there a push? Most definitely. Did he hit the ground? Yes, but his head didn't even smack the ground like he's claiming. It was his hip and then his elbow, and then he laid down flat because of that uppercut. Like, even if Tyson Fury hadn't have pushed him, he would have still went to the canvas. And he said he should have been allowed more time to recuperate. Well, if you're falling face forward into the ropes, what do you expect to happen? Now, Dillian White doesn't strike me as a person that would make excuses, but this is clearly, clearly an excuse. And this fight wasn't remotely close. I'm closer to being six foot tall than he was in this fight. Point blank, period. Um, Tyson beat you fair and square. Dillian, so just take the biggest payday that you've ever had and put your mind and focus on someone else, like maybe Andy Ruiz. I would love to see that fight. But, you know, he came in. He wasn't ready. He was reckless with his punches, and he ran into an uppercut, a punch that he's very susceptible to, and he needs to work on that, definitely. Comment down below and let me know what you think about this and what he's saying. I ain't buying it. Gypsy King won fair and square. He's on his way. Respect all. Fear none. God bless. Till the next time, Real Talk Boxing. I'm up, and I'm out of here, baby.